हेलो भिवर्स आई एम मिस्टर दिलीप कुमार पाल रिटायर्ड रीडर बिलोंग टू ओडिशा टुडे स्टैंड्स बिफोर यू विथ ए वेरी बॉर्निंग टॉपिक व्हिच इज ऑब्जर्व इन द ग्लोबल पॉलिटिक्स पेपर ऑफ द फोर्थ सेमिस्टर दैट इज अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ ग्लोबलाइजेशन एंड इट्स अल्टरनेटिव पर्सपेक्टिव्स एंड दिस टॉपिक ऑफ फोर्थ सेमिस्टर ऑफ सेकंड ईयर प्लस द सेकंड ईयर इन द पेपर ग्लोबल पॉलिटिक्स the first topic is understanding globalization and its alternative perspectives it means what is globalization and what are its alternative perspectives means its other sides or negative impacts and i am full confidence that this video will be useful not only for students of plus 3 level but also it is useful for students of plus 2 level and post graduation level and those students who are engaged to appear competitive examination in the future let us start what is globalization the word globalization for the first time was used by ronald robertson ronald robertson was the first man who uttered the word globalization and this globalization is a process which has been originated in the world in between 1940 to 1970 and globalization is otherwise known as neo colonialism sorry neo liberalism globalization is otherwise known as neo liberalism and in old and in india globalization has been originated in after 1990 when narsimha rao was the prime minister of india so global globalization is a process which is observed in the enter the world but what is globalization actually globalization means in simple language it is a process whose object is to convert the fragmented world divided world borderful world into a single family or a borderless society so ordinarily or in simple language globalization means the world which has been fragmented into many segments this fragmented world must be converted into a global village or single village or to make it more clear the world is now has been divided into various nations every nation has its border with other nations china has border with 14 nations but the objective of the globalization is to make the world borderless to make the world a single family it is globalization but appropriately globalization means globalization has as many as 10 important features the first important feature of globalization is liberalization to entrepreneurs in globalization entry preneurs or the businessmen will be given full freedom to establish any type of undertakings any type of business there will not be any restriction on the entrepreneurs or capitalists businessmen will be given full freedom to establish any type of undertakings 
of their choice. Entrepreneurs will have to be made free. There should not be any restriction on them. This is the first feature of globalization. Number two, free trade. The second feature of globalization, there will be free trade among nations. There will be no restriction on nations to have trade with other nations. But now there are restrictions. So in globalization, there will be free trade. Every country is free to make trade with others. There will not be any restriction. Number three, free import and export. In globalization, there will be no restriction on import and export. Now there are restrictions on import and export. But in globalization, there will be no restriction in import and export. Every country can export commodities to whichever country it wants. Every country can import anything from any country it desires. The fourth important feature of globalization is increased collaboration among entrepreneurs. Whenever entrepreneurs will be made free, businessmen will be made free, then these businessmen will exchange technologies among themselves. There will be no restriction in the transfer of technology. Businessmen can exchange technologies among themselves. Then the fifth one is privatization. In globalization, privatization will be encouraged. Businessmen and capitalists will be encouraged to have their own business. Private factories, private undertakings, private institutions will be established. Privatization will be encouraged. And number six, economy reforms. In globalization, there will be economic reforms. A, a market of a country will be linked with the international market. The national market will not be confined within the country. The market of a nation will be linked with the international market. Okay, very good. Then, seventh one is global economy activity. The international market will be converted into a single market. The entire mar market of the world will be linked with one another. Every country will be linked with one another. International market will be a single market. Okay, my viewers. Then, in globalization, there will be free movement of workers. In globalization, workers of one country can go to other country for work without any restrictions. Then, restrictless, restrictless capital investment. It means the capitalists of one country can invest their money in other country. There will be no restriction on capitalists to invest their money in other nations. So there will be restrictless capital investments. Finally, free technology transfer. In globalization, there will be no restriction in the transfer of technologies. Every country can transfer technology to other countries. Now there are restrictions that a country cannot transfer its hard earned technology to other country. But in globalization, there will be no restriction in the transfer of technologies. So, we are clear what is globalization in a simple language and what is globalization in an appropriate language. In simple language, globalization means to convert the fragmented world into a single family. But appropriately globalization means in globalization there will be liberalization of entrepreneurs. Number two, free trade. Number three, free import and export. Number four, increase collaboration among entrepreneurs. Number five, privatization. Number six, economy reforms. Number seven, global economy activity. Number eight, free movement of workers. Then uh, restrictless capital investment. And finally, free technology transfer. So we are clear what is globalization we understand what is globalization in simple language and appropriate language. Now we'll see what benefits globalization has. Here we will discuss five benefits of the globalization. Number one, generation of employment. In globalization, more and more factories will be established, so people will get job. Number two, cheaper and quality commodities for consumers. consumers. In globalization, there will be competition among entrepreneurs. 
as a consequence of it cheaper commodities and quality commodities will be available to consumers number 3 proportional development of the world in globalization the money and the resource of the advanced country will be utilized to extract unused resources of the backward nations so here the money of the advanced country will be utilized to explore raw materials of backward nations so world will develop proportionally there will be proportional development of the world then promotion of world peace in globalization people of one country will go to other country then people of another country will move to some other country so there will be certain movement of people to different parts of the world so international peace will be established finally utilization of unutilized natural resources in undeveloped countries there are natural resources but these natural resources are not utilized because they do not have money so in globalization advanced nations will utilize their money to explore the resources of the backward nations so precious raw materials natural resources of backward nations can be utilized in globalization so we are clear what is globalization and what are the benefits of globalization now we'll see alternative repercussions of globalization no doubt globalization is good but it has some other angle it has also some other results it is also negative results it is known as alternative perspectives as globalization has some negative impacts so there was world level movements to protest against the negative impacts of globalization these movements were ministers of the member nation of world trade organization they assembled in seattle in america and cancun in mexico to discuss about the negative impacts of globalization again g8 meeting was organized in genoa italy they also discussed about the negative impacts of globalization and its remedies then also world bank meeting was held in davos in switzerland they also discussed what are the negative impacts of globalization and how it will be overcome now we'll see what are the negative impacts of globalization first one is reduction of states to a minimalist state in globalization powers of state will be decreased will be reduced the state will be confined with only the police function like protection of state protection of people from external aggression protection of people from internal disturbances uh, internal disturbances and protection the life liberty and property of people the functions of the state will be reduced so state will become a minimalist state so when if functions of state will be reduced then the state will be unable to look after the general interest so society will be neglected and number 2 loss of local employment due to outsourcing in globalization there will be movement of workers to different places so local people will lose their employment because people from other areas will come if skilled workers of other areas will come to a different to a definite place then local people will be unable to get employment so local people will be affected in sphere of employment number 3 modern of humanism in globalization capitalists businessmen will run after profit they will not look look after humanism humanism will be murder profit 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 will be primary rest is the secondary for environmental pollution in globalization factories will be established large scale dens will be established so environment will be polluted then fifth destruction of original local culture in globalization cultures of other nations will enter into other nations so local culture will be affected then influence of emerging emerges on decision making process of state in globalization multinational companies will come up 
they will establish their factories in different nations and they will have hold on essential commodities so people will have to depend on the mnc so mnc will become so much powerful that they will interfere in the decision making process of the state then exploitation of labor like higher and higher in globalization labor will be exploited they will be higher and higher it means labor will be exploited and they will be exploited to a unlimited extent finally poor countries will not have voice in global regulatory process in globalization multinational companies of rich nations will have business in the entire world so as multinational companies belong to rich nations they will have hold in the global market so poor nations those who do not have multinational companies they will not have much voice in the global regulatory process so in this video we have discussed what is globalization in simple language what is globalization in appropriate language where we have discussed 10 important features we have discussed positive sides of globalization and we have discussed globalization globalization impacts from negative way no no doubt globalization is good but it has also some negative impacts and we have discussed as many as eight negative impacts so i request my viewers to watch this video attentively basically plus two students and four semester students of plus three degree level to watch this video attentively subscribe my channel and don't be selfish recommend your friends to subscribe my channel so students will be benefited thank you viewers again we will be here with another video till now goodbye to all